The buzz for me in Tottenham was building. You know, I was like, I was on the, the, the private radio circuit, it was on Heat FM. It was one of them things where I was literally like making some songs and just throwing stuff, stuff out there, testing the waters. And everyone was like, yeah, man, you should, you should keep going, man. You're, you're kind of flying the flag or whatever. Were you making money from music then? No, none, none whatsoever. Um, you, you would make money to j just to fund it. That was the point that I definitely started to take it a lot more seriously. Before then, I was still like, I'm going to be a teacher, I'm going to be a teacher. I was still working really hard, you know, at music. I still enjoyed it. It was still my passion. I was still, it was my escape. You know, more than anything, it was an escape for me. And I remember going to my mum and saying to my mum, I'm not going to go to university. And she was vexed. She's like, yes, you are. I said, I don't even live in your house. How can you tell me what to do? She's like, listen, I don't care. I gave birth to you. You're going to university. I think if you start making music for your mates, mm. You, you make a track that you know that you can play to your best mates and they're going to go, that's good. And when you stop doing that, when you start thinking about, oh, well, I'm going to make a track that's going to be played on Radio 1 or I'm going to make a track that's going to go, forget it. Mm. Leave it. Make music for your mates, that's it. <laughs>